the antiphon for Wednesday of Holy Week. At the name of Jesus, every knee shall bend of those in heaven and on the earth and under the earth. For the Lord became obedient to death, death on the cross. Therefore, Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. grace to you in peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned Amen. in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. O oh God, who willed your Son to submit for our sake to the yoke of the cross, so that you might drive from us the power of the enemy, grant us, your servants, to attain the grace of the resurrection through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen.
Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. One of the twelve, who was called Judas Iscariot, went to the chief priest and said, What are you willing to give me if I hand him over to you? They paid him thirty pieces of silver, and from that time on he looked for an opportunity to hand him over. On the first day of the Feast of Unleavened Bread, the disciples approached Jesus and said, Where do you want us to prepare for you to eat the Passover? He said, Go into the city to a certain man and tell him, The teacher says, My appointed time draws near. In your house I shall celebrate the Passover with my disciples. The disciples then did as Jesus had ordered and prepared the Passover. When it was evening, he reclined at table with the twelve, and while they were eating, he said, Amen, I say to you, one of you will betray me. Deeply distressed at this, they began to say to him one after another, Surely it is not I, Lord. He said in reply, He who has dipped his hand into the dish with me is the one who will betray me. The Son of Man indeed goes as it is written of him, but woe to that man by whom the Son of Man is betrayed. It would be better for that man if he had never been born. Then Judas, his betrayer, said in reply, Surely it is not I, Rabbi. He answered, You have said so. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. Despite Peter's protest, protestations to the contrary, that he will follow Jesus anywhere he goes, even until death, that it's going to be in a matter of a few hours, he's actually going to deny that he even knows him. Based on, in the moment, Peter realizes that his life is in danger, so he denies that he knows him to preserve his own skin. In Judah's case, things are really different. What really seriously aggravates or exacerbates his betrayal is the fact that it wasn't something spontaneous. It was premeditated. It is something he had been plotting and planning on some way to do something for at least some time because he actually winds up going to the corrupted leadership of the Jewish people to find an opportunity to where he can hand him over and profit from it in the process. So it's that premeditated thing, and it seems to be based on there's some reason, something about Jesus that was just not meeting Jews' expectations of who he was and what he should do and how he should be. And so Judas decided, well, I just need to make sure I do something about this. So again, you know, what aggravates the severity of his betrayal is that premeditated quality to it. And that's something else where we can take some time to do some profitable examinations of our own conscience. Because it's not something uncommon. Somebody will fail to meet our expectations or fail to do something we think they should do or act in a certain way or do a certain thing. You know, it's, it's our expectation and we don't often stop to think whether or not that expectation is reasonable or if it's even right, something for us to expect in the first place. But we will become offended, and then really all too often we will start looking for some way that we can somehow get back at that person who offended us for failing to meet our expectations. That's something we definitely need to repent of, because it does great harm. It destroys marriages, it destroys families, it destroys church communities, Counties, cities, nations, you name it, it brings a lot of destruction. And we need to be honest with ourselves where we have participated in that type of betrayal based on somebody failing to meet our expectations 
and ask for the grace to eradicate that from our hearts and minds that we think might not be bringers of harm unjustly to others. We lift up our prayers of faith. Let us pray for our Holy Father, Pope Francis, that he may be clothed with power from on high to lead the church with wisdom and fortitude. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. May Christ give us the sight of faith, the blessing of forgiveness, and the wisdom of truth. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. May the people of our world discover anew the presence of the eternal God and put their trust in the one whom they seek. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. May all members of the church live the compassion of Christ so that they may never break the fresh reed nor quench the wavering flame. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. O divine physician, Along with the intercession of the Blessed Mother, St. Roach, and St. Rosalie, we ask your healing grace for those sickened by the coronavirus. And by that same grace, remain spiritually close to you in these confining times. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For these and for all the intentions in our parish book of prayer, and for the repose of the souls of Frank and Veronica Schultz, for whom this Mass is being offered, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving Father, in your great love, answer us and bring to every restless, fearful, and anxious heart a lasting and courageous peace in Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the one we offer you, fruit of the vine and the work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be your God. Sisters in my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. That the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all this holy church. Receive what we pray the offerings made here and graciously grant that, celebrating your son's passion in mystery, we may experience the grace of its effects through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And we lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for the days of his saving passion and glorious resurrection are approaching, by which the pride of the ancient foe is vanquished, and the mystery of our redemption in Christ is celebrated. Through him the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exalted praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, Lord, the fount of all holiness. We make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that, 
they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. It is the way when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in the reality. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope and Peter our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that, by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity and accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always, and with your spirit. The Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but when you say the word, my soul shall be healed. Communion antiphon, 
The Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve, and to give his life as a ransom for many. Let's pray. Endow us, Almighty God, with the firm conviction that, to your Son's death and time, to which the revered mysteries bear witness, we may be assured of perpetual life through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke you, we humbly pray, and do thou, o Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the divine power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who roam throughout the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Go forth, the Master's in. Thanks be to God.